Hi, this is Natasha Tracy for Breaking Bipolar at HealthyPlace.com. Today I want to talk for a minute about friendships for those who have bipolar disorder. Now, I've been in treatment for bipolar disorder for almost two decades. And of course, I've had many friends throughout that time period. And what I've learned is that some people can handle bipolar disorder and some people can't. <laughs> I've had friends that were very confused. I've had friends that have walked away, but I've also had friends that have been extremely helpful. I've also had friends that have been there for me, even in the worst circumstances, like when I was in the hospital. And so most friends will fall along that spectrum somewhere. <laughs> Some of them are going to be okay with your illness and be able to help you, and some of them just aren't going to be able to help you. And maybe that's because they're scared of mental illness, maybe it's because they don't deal well with emotions or doctors or illnesses in general. It could be any number of things. But I've learned two things. First of all, I've learned that when someone doesn't react well to my bipolar disorder and its symptoms, it's not my fault. I do the very best I can to be a very good friend to people. And it's the other person's problem if they can't handle my bipolar disorder. And I've also learned to really, really thank the people who stand by me and who are there for me. I love them dearly. And what I think we have to remember is that some people are gonna accept us, some people are gonna be able to help us, some people are gonna be able to handle the reality with which we live, and some people are just not gonna be in that group. And that's okay. My name is Natasha Tracy for Breaking Bipolar at HealthyPlace.com.